Our next topic is the Vikings. You're probably familiar with the Vikings. You probably think you know what the Vikings are. But you ever thought about what the Vikings actually did? You spent enough time at Frumt High School to realize that the Viking logo is everywhere. It's on our clothes, it's on our shirts, it's on our teams, it's all over the walls, and we're Vikings, that's the idea. But I want you to think about this. I want you to think about what the Vikings meant and ask, does it make sense for us to be named Vikings? Is that right? You might know the Vikings and think about the country of Norway, which is where most people assume the Vikings came from. But in reality, the Vikings were actually from all over Scandinavia, countries like Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. What made the Vikings famous wasn't staying in Scandinavia, it was all their voyages looking for riches. And that began when they found the riches they were looking for in the monasteries of Ireland, Scotland, and England. And they went there and they did quite well, stealing from the unprotected monasteries. But they didn't stop there. Once they realized that they could do well, uh, attacking monastery. They set out in search for more and they found them and they found other things like unprotected little villages. If you lived in Europe and you were on a waterway, the Vikings could get to you and they did in countries like Russia, Denmark, Germany, all across Europe, France, into the Mediterranean. The Vikings weren't afraid to go anywhere, but people were afraid everywhere they went. So to understand why the Vikings are historically well known across the world, you have to understand that they were such an unstoppable force that eventually they managed to make their way all the way to Asia, into the Middle East, and into places like Northern Africa. And let's be honest, it wasn't like they were asking people for their riches. They came and they took what they wanted, and they left people dead in their path. It's what made people eventually just pay them off in bribes. The Vikings were such ferocious fighters that eventually they didn't even have to fight. Nobody wanted to test them. And because of that, if you were told when you were growing up that you're Irish, chances are you're a little bit Viking. In fact, the city of Dublin was founded by Vikings, not Irish people. And if you're Scottish, well, chances are, that's right, you're a Viking. But surely if you're English, you must be English. Not really. Entire English villages were settled by Vikings who decided to stay because they didn't want to make the dangerous trip back to Scandinavia with all their riches. In fact, it's the Vikings that forced the first English kings to make castles and arm themselves. And when National Geographic went across Europe testing genetics to see where people actually originally came from, they found villages all over Europe, places like France, Germany, Poland, and Russia, where the people's genetics most closely match the Vikings. To be completely honest, the same thing was true of the Mongols, it's just that that's a different video. And it's what we'd be talking about if our team was the Frem Mongols. But back to the Vikings, when they did genetic testing on the Nunavut Indians of northern Canada, guess what they found out? Yep, you guessed it. There was evidence of the Vikings. It's pretty clear historically that the Vikings were unstoppable force. And so, in that sense, it makes sense that we would be Vikings. You dominate, you win, no one can stop you. But is that a good thing? Do we want to be Vikings? So maybe we need to step back and put our school spirit aside and look at this with new eyes and really think about what it means. Tonight you're going to watch a video from the movie The Dark Ages and it's going to talk about historically what the Vikings were. But as you watch that video, I want you to make a decision. I want you to think and be prepared to vote. You have to decide. Are the Vikings, yes, a great school mascot because they dominate and they defeat all their opponents? Or should we look at the Vikings differently? And regardless of how much time has passed, or how differently we view the image of a Viking, say that that's not appropriate for us to be wearing around. Let's be honest, conquering and pillaging, they get some bad press these days. So here's a QR code for the video on YouTube. Scan it and watch. And while you're watching, think about what you think is right. And if you need to, look up some information to support your position. When you come into class tomorrow, the first thing we're going to do is vote, and then we're going to turn it loose for discussion and see what all of you came up with. Hope you're ready.